When you're done with your page, there's a few different options. So if you look down here, you'll see that I have a bunch of pages that I haven't, I have not completed yet. So if you want, you can just save this album and then continue working on all these pages, or you can just save this one, one specific page. Let me show you your options. Come here to share album. Now you can choose if you want to print it, export it, whatever you want to do. So we're just going to export to a JPEG. That way you, this is how you upload a page, a page to the user's gallery or to Facebook. So we can all see it. So click export to JPEG. Okay, next. Then you'll see it will show you all the pages in this album. So you can check the ones that you worked on tonight. Um, if you did more than one, we'd love to see those. I'll just do this one right here and then click next. And then it will um, ask, go through these questions like you've done before and export it as a JPEG. So if I wanted, I could also make a photo book out of this album. I could burn it, I could make a digital album. So the options when you do quick mixes, well any page really, but quick mixes are great because all the pages are built for you. It's just such an easy way to build a photo book or build a digital album to have things that go right along. Um, so go ahead and export your page. There's one other little, little tip that I wanna share with you though really quickly. If I come up here, I don't know if you can see this, let me slide this over. Okay, let's say I have these six pages and they're all done and I want to add another page up to, to this quick mix. I can come up here to insert and I can click add more quick mix pages. So then I can add another page from another album or I can just go ahead and come into this um, Spring Splendor I've been working on and I can add the pages that I want. If I click that customize custom page arrangement, then I can add one more of these, one more of these, one more of these. And it will just build those pages um, behind the pages that I have already created. So you can really make as long as many pages of an al as many pages in your album as you would like to. Sorry, that did not come out clearly, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. Also, if I'm holding on to one of these pages, if I have it selected, I can just go ahead and drag it and drop it, so I can rearrange the order of the pages that way. So anyway, I hope that I gave you some good tips tonight about quick mixes and that you have enjoyed learning a little bit more about them and I'm excited to see the pages that you have.